Hi folks, this is Anne Marie from Anne Marie Trades on the Stocktoots Network. I wanted to talk to you a little bit tonight about looking at things in longer time frames because a lot of times junior traders or novice traders ignore that weekly or monthly chart. And that's what we're going to look at tonight, just the weekly and monthlies. So the first thing I want to look at is the SPY here. And we can see that we've had one, two, three, four days of trying to bump above this level right here. And if we had only looked at a year of it, we would not notice that way back here in 2007, we have a gap that's still not filled. So we're bumping up against it. Now, here's the rule about prices bumping up against things. The harder and, and more often it bumps up against the resistance or down on the support, the more likely it is that it breaks through eventually, right? That just seems to make sense. So we've had four days of trying to get over the top of this, but we are at a very critical space right now. So you can look at trading and say, wow, if I break out over this 107.30 something or maybe you know, you make it safe and you say 107.80, then that's a clear breakout and it's off to fill this gap, which is about three points away. So my estimation for tomorrow is we break it. I know a lot of folks are very bearish, but I just can't bring myself to be that way quite yet. And I haven't been since the pullback. So why change now? <laughs> In any case, that's what I'm looking at. I see the volume increasing as we move forward. It's not decreasing. We don't have any really troubling things to look at from a volume-weighted MACD. And again, all we're looking at are price levels. We also notice here with the moving averages, they're spreading wider apart, meaning good things for bulls. So let's move to the next chart. Let's look at the futures. The futures are showing the same sort of thing. So we're kind of in a critical space in the market. Here we've had the same one, two, three, four attempts of trying to break this particular level. Look at this. It's back in 2007 that it's bumping against that price level. If it breaks out, we've got all the way to 1104 or so, which is a really great thing for the bulls. If we don't break out, my guess is that we chatter in this area, maybe holding the, oh, I don't know, 144 level, something like that. That's just my estimation there. But again, I'm a bit bullish on what it is that I'm seeing here. This candle, if we want to learn a little bit about candles today, is a very bullish candle because we started here and just powered through. And of course, with the futures, that means, you know, 4.30 in the afternoon, it started moving forward. So that's what I think there. Let's go to Apple. Everybody talks about Apple here again. See what we're looking at? This price level comes in 2006 and again in 2007. It's why it's important when you do your analysis to expand your chart timelines. I learned this from Brian Shannon, actually, at alphatrends.net. And it's very, very important because it gives you clear price levels that the stock needs to breach in order to move forward. So if Apple does move above this area, the 192 area or so, it's got pretty free sailing up to about 202. So that would be a nice, that would be a nice bullish run for that. If it doesn't, it's probably going to just come back and chatter here a little bit. It looks really strong, in my opinion. The only troubling thing we're looking at is this right here. It's the volume weighted. Uh, it's Sorry, it's a volume oscillator. And what that's showing is that there's not that much aggressive buying at this level. So it really might pull back. This is one that I'm just watching waiting to see what it does. If it breaks out, clearly it's a long. Um, if it doesn't, then you know you get to go short. It's just at a great level right here, so keep watching that. Amazon, same thing. Isn't it interesting? All over the charts, we're looking at exactly the same things. This one again, from this one is from 2006, folks. That's a while. 
2006, it's trying to bump up against these levels right here. So watching Amazon, I'm not quite so sure it's actually ready to do that right now, but that's really more of a gut level response than anything else. I think these candles have been very big. So I expect them to retrace a little bit. And uh, I like it when the candles move in small bodies in one direction or another. If the bodies are large, they always have a tendency to have some kind of volatile snapback somewhere along the way. So I'm very careful about that one. And the last the one that we're going to look at, MasterCard, you guys know that's one of my favorites to look at and to work with. Again, we've got some levels from 2006 that it's bumping up against. And then um, this floor right here. So for if I were to take a guess at what MasterCard's going to do, I am believing that it's going to retrace back here. I haven't drawn a fib on it, but we're just looking at price levels here. That's what I wanted to express to you, why it's important to take a look at price levels and why it's important to expand your multiple time frames. That's very, very, very important. You'll miss things and you'll wonder why it is that something failed at a certain level and it's because you have not looked far back enough in the chart to isolate the patterns. Does that make sense? Sure do hope so. In any case, folks, I won't be around tomorrow. You'll see me on Monday. Happy trading and remember, trade with your eyes wide open and your ears half closed.